Welcome back to Enlighten Me. As you can tell, it's been a while. Uh, this is your first time to my channel. I just wanted to welcome you and thank you for stopping by. If you're a subscriber or if you've uh, watched my videos before, I wanted to thank you for returning and supporting my channel. Um, this video is meant to be an update of my previous uh, Lightning Adapter and, and uh, Disney Plus and Netflix videos. And it's a direct um, follow up to my Let's Solve Lightning Adapter, Disney Plus, and Netflix problems. So over the last few years, I've gathered uh, comments and done some research, and I've kind of come up with a definitive answer for this doesn't work. So uh, in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you a function test for Disney Plus and Netflix, which demonstrate that it does work. I used to be a little wary of doing that because I was worried about uh, copyright issues, but um, I think this this falls under fair use and playing a couple seconds of the video isn't going to cause any problems. So you'll see that um, I'm going to address sound no video and I have some helpful tips and I'm going to address uh, just some other uh, questions that have come up over the years. So with that said, let's get straight into the function test. This Netflix function test uses Wi-Fi. Um, Cell service can be kind of unreliable, so use Wi-Fi if you can. And I plugged in the Apple power cord. Uh, that's not a requirement, but it certainly doesn't hurt. This Disney Plus function test uses Wi-Fi, and I plugged in the Apple power cord. Uh, the power cord is not a requirement, but it certainly doesn't hurt. I use Wi-Fi because my cellular data plan is 5G, but it's not always reliable, and I find data plans in general aren't reliable, and people have said over the years that this won't work with cell data. So this function test assumes you've got Wi-Fi, and as you can tell, it's, it works just great with Wi-Fi. It's important to always select automatically airplay TVs to never. It also needs to be said that um, if it works for you as it should, and let's say iOS updates and all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore, and this has happened in the recent past, what I encourage you to do is get in touch directly with Apple tech support and even Netflix tech support and let them know what's going on because odds are they know that this is a, this is a problem and it's kind of what's known in the software world as tech debt. And so it, this is something that they, they know that they're put, trying to push out a release with lots of updates on it and they, they know they're going to break something. They'll know this is something they need to fix in a future update. But your complaints and your comments and letting them know is going to elevate that to a higher level. Sound but no video. So this is a signal error. Uh, for a while I thought it might have to do with the fact that people were uh, watching Netflix or Disney Plus uh, on a browser like Safari or Chrome or Firefox um, and instead of using the app um, because that had occurred with me. I got sound but no video when I did that. But um, a lot of people would say like, no, I'm getting sound but no video and I'm using the app. So I determined that basically this is, this is a screen uh, resolution issue, um, which is creating an HDCP error. And so let me show you the error that I get sometimes too. As you can tell, that's, you know, it's, it's frustrating to get an error like that, um, but the, the only way to fix it that I found is basically going to the destination source, my television, and making sure that it is going to match the resolution I have on my app. So my TV, like I said, is old. It's 15 years old, which is crazy. Um, so I go to the apps, uh, Disney Plus and Netflix, and I make sure that I am, uh, I don't have it set higher than standard resolution. Okay. And then um, I'm going to throw up a picture of the uh, HDMI cables again that I use. Um, they have the ability to stream up to 4K. And I say that because this error, this HTCP slash sound no video error, is when a device within your setup thinks something's not HTCP compliant. Okay. 
Um, so an older cable is something that you know would throw that error up on screen. Okay, the the, the cable you see on screen right now um, is set to go all the way up to 4K, and my TV is set to 1080p, and so it can definitely screen that without a problem. And all my apps are set to standard. So usually, like nine, like I said, 90% of the time there's no problem. Now, when there is a problem, what I do is, and if I do get this error that came on, I showed you a couple minutes ago, I will just do a power cycle. I'll unplug everything, I'll turn everything off, I'll wait 30 seconds, plug everything back in, turn everything back on, and that usually refreshes the whole uh, system. And then everything is, is just fine. But the, the cable you see on screen, you can find at any electronic store, Target, Amazon, and I highly recommend this, and I've never regretted this purchase. Hopefully all that made sense. Um, it's Like I said, it's Salmon No Video, you know, TLDR is a signal issue, and you just have to make sure that all, all, all devices from downstream to upstream all match. Downloads. Um, I have other videos that kind of address problems with downloads. Uh, I suggest using an HDMI splitter, which um, usually solves the problem for most people. Um, the, but the one unsolvable problem is that if people are in a rural, rural area and they don't have Wi-Fi and they're trying to watch a download with the adapter. And I have not been able to replicate that because I have Wi-Fi and um, when I turn everything off and I use my adapter for a download, it's, it still works for me. So I'm not 100% sure why uh, it's causing a problem. I did have a couple of people who I did email back and forth about trying to help them. But again, like I said, I'm not sitting next to you on your couch. I can't help. I don't know exactly what the setup is. So that's going to probably go unresolved unless someone out there figures something out or says, oh, by the way, this was, I figured out why, and this, this is why that was happening. I, I definitely sympathize and empathize with your situation, but um, until someone out there tells me, oh, this was what it was, and I figured it out by doing X, Y, or Z, I'm not going to know what to say, and I will, I will again just refer you to this timestamp of the video going forward. Uh, sometimes people will get in touch with me because they're trying to use the adapter while they're watching something live on like ESPN Plus or something or they're trying to do some type of live gaming. Um, I haven't tried to do these things myself personally and so I'm not 100% sure how to advise people on that. I know that Google has Chromecast um, so you might want to try that um, and, and, and you know, as an alternate to using the adapter. but. Um, I that's just that's one I'm not sure how to solve and um, like I said I don't I don't usually watch uh, too many sporting events uh, live on television <laughs> so, so I'm not sure how to advise you on that one so again if, if that's what you're looking for um, just uh, try searching um, again on YouTube or try an alternate service uh, or an alternate um, solution like Chromecast and see if that might work I get comments uh, from people who have projectors and they're trying to use the adapter. Um, there's a great website I've noticed called projectorninja.com, and I will um, I'll, I'll put the URL on the on screen um, and may, probably link it into the, the description below. Uh, they're you know great website. I don't have a projector myself, um, but they they have a lot of a ton of tips. So if you have a projector and you're trying to use the adapter, I suggest going to them and uh, to their site and, and seeing if that might, uh, some of their tips might be able to help you uh, with, with the adapter. And there you have it. Um, and hopefully after this, you go through this video, you go through all my tips and um, the, the workarounds and the fixes, you'll go, okay, great, you're right. It's as simple as that. Um, and so as I've uh, kind of tried to imply so far, this will be the last video I make, uh, barring uh, a minor update. You know about the, the you know if unless I notice there's been an, uh, a discontinuation of the adapter. But otherwise, uh, this represents the absolute my absolute best effort to answer all of the questions I've noticed over the last several years, and working with people to kind of come up with oh this is why oh this might be why this isn't working or that might be why that's working might not be working so. 
Um, hopefully, um, this has answered your questions, and you know you can you know you can click the video off and attach your adapter and watch Netflix or Disney Plus. Um, again, this I don't have other services um, right now, um, so I'm not 100 percent sure how it probably would work with the other ones I don't see why it wouldn't I believe there are a couple other videos out there that they do test lots of different streaming services uh, other than these two but these are the main two that that I use and like I said this hopefully will will work for you and um, I appreciate all of the comments likes and subscribes that I've gotten so far and uh, I hope that you'll find other content on the channel that's also worth your time so have a great day. Enjoy watching your favorite uh, content and shows, and uh, I'll see you next time.